Okay, Worldwide Web, Blue Dub with another edition of Personal Best. It's the Group 2 Lonsdale Cup. We're down to a tiny field of four after the scratching of Trushan, and Stradivarius was a narrow favourite from Spanish Mission. Oh, for the Weatherby's Hamilton Lonsdale Cup here, just the four runners then with Trushan being withdrawn earlier in the day, and they're coming past the grandstands for the first time with the Grand Vizier setting out in front by about three to four lengths as they pass the judge ahead of Stradivarius with racing in third stratum and Spanish mission held up in last place in the pink jacket there by William Buick as they race away from us and head towards the first turn of the race. So the Grand Vizier, who does stay extremely well, is out in front, visored first time today. He leads by four lengths. Stradivarius, the great Stradivarius in second place, defending his unbeaten record here on the Knavesmire to Lonsdale Cups two Yorkshire Cups. He's in second place ahead then of Stratum, who's just down by two lengths in third, and then looking on at the rear, Spanish Mission, who was just a place ahead of Stradivarius in the Gold Cup back in June, as they race on past the mile and a half start over on the far side of the race course. So the Grand Vizier then taking them along what looks to be a, a pretty decent pace. He's probably up by about seven lengths now, from Stradivarius in second place, two lengths away back in third to Stratum, representing Willie Mullins, who won this race with Max Dynamite a few years ago. Looking on at the rear, Spanish in the hands of Will Buick. On they go across the far side of the track. They're about to move past the nine furlong marker. And the Grand Vizier is looking very comfortable out in front here. His lead is probably up to about eight lengths now as they approach the halfway stage of the race. Stradivarius in second place, leading his other two rivals, Stratum and Spanish Mission, as they move on towards the last seven furlongs then. The Grand Vizier, still the leader. Five-time winner out in front here. And Stradivarius, who is bidding to become the first to win the Lonsdale Cup three times. Many have done it twice. He's about uh, seven lengths behind him as they go past the six. Stratum is next behind uh, two lengths and then a similar gap away to Spanish Mission. So nothing much has happened yet. All we know is it's going to be a proper stamina test here because the Grand Vizier has made it a really decent pace so far. He's going to turn into the home straight, four and a half furlongs to go. Just shaken up briefly on that turn to maintain his advantage. Frankie keeping an eye on him. On board Stradivarius and Frank, he's just having a look to see where his other two rivals are. And Spanish Mission is moving up now to try and claim third place from Stratum. He's just been squeezed along Stratum likewise. The leader of the Grand Vizier coming right back to the three pursuers now in the Weatherby's Hamilton Lonsdale Cup. And Frankie is now asking Stradivarius, but Spanish Mission is alongside him here. These two are look like fighting this out. Stradivarius on the inside from Spanish Mission. Frankie de Torre and Will Buick. There's nothing between them as they race up towards the final furlong. Near side Spanish mission, Stradivarius, the battler on the far side. He always digs deep. What can he find here? Spanish mission is up by a neck. Stradivarius trying to get back at him. And Stradivarius is beginning to get up. And he's done it. Stradivarius has won again. Frankie de Torre's seventh Lonsdale Cup and a record third for Stradivarius in a ding-dong battle with in second place Spanish mission, the Grand Vizier and Stratum next. Oh, wonderful stuff, wonderful stuff. What a race. Stradivarius just over Spanish Mission for his 18th career. Wow, what a battle and possibly a last hurrah for two great old stages. Stradivarius wins and now do we get to see Spanish Mission here in Australia? Check the odds, pick a winner.